a very special morning brew this morning in honor of Veterans Day. Yes, this is a very, very special morning brew. So we want to take some time to say thanks to the amazing people in our lives who have served this nation. Yes, so on this Veterans Day, I'm going to get it started. I am remembering and honoring my great Aunt Jo, who served in the Army as a first sergeant for 22 years. I find her to be so inspiring. There's mm -hmm. Christian and I with her by her bench at the VA hospital in Butler. But she served in 1950s and 1960s, and to be a female serving in the Army during those times, I just think is fantastic. Certainly a huge role for model for me. I'm trying not to get emotional here, but she was really great. She told me so many great stories about when she was stationed in Europe and specifically Belgium. And it was just amazing to hear everything she had to say. And it was really cool to think that as a female, you know, you were serving in the army. In the 1950s amazing. And, 60s. and it's okay to get emotional. My gosh, yeah. the stories <laughs> yeah. are just, they're, they're so inspiring mm -hmm. when you look back. I mean, yeah. uh, all of our families' roots uh, run deep. Many of your family's mm -hmm. uh, roots out there run deep uh, with the military and, and no question Christy especially a, a woman wow. serving and yes. how inspiring that yes. is for women everywhere. And in the 1950s and exactly. 60s like you said Christy mm -hmm. just amazing. That's, and it's great. I'm thanking her today remembering her today and like I said I could go on and on about this great story she told she loved wow. to travel and that was her favorite thing that's about the great. military. That's wow. We're thinking about her too that's for sure Christy thank you for that. Both of my grandfathers served I wanted to show some really uh, special wow. pics from my grandpa Fred's time in the army he was a corporal actually in the Army Air Force before they were separate branches. He was stationed wow. in India and Burma during World War II. He actually had already started his career as a teacher in Erie wow. before wow. he was drafted in November of 1943. There he is right there. That's one of my favorite pictures of Grandpa. Yeah. Um, actually, 80 years ago this month, 1943, wow. November yeah. of 1943. So, Incredible. Uh, Grandpa Fred, uh, an amazing man. And, a teacher as well, like I said, teaching mm -hmm. runs deep in my family as well. I passed that down to my dad, who was a teacher for 40 plus years as well in public education. So, um, yeah, thinking about my grandpa today, both my mm -hmm. grandpas. Certainly. So many great people in our lives. Yeah. Um, so my grandfather, uh, John Ammerman, he actually served during World War II as well in the Marine Corps and was awarded the World War II Victory Medal. Wow. Wow. So a really kind of fun fact here, he's actually buried in the American Legion Cemetery in Houtsdale. Is that right? Mm. Yes. So I was able to uh, recently visit his uh, grave. Oh, wow. He was a member of Post 591. And, and I just want to say that if anyone watching happened to know my grandfather, please <laughs> reach out. Wow. I'd love to hear stories about him. Yeah. Uh, you know, I didn't really get to know him because unfortunately he passed away uh, before I was really able to meet him and learn mm -hmm. more about him. So I've recently been uncovering certain, uh, you know, details and little facts about him. So if anybody right. does know him or knew him and has stories, I would really love to hear them. So please reach out to me. That's really so that you're, from the, you're from the Greensburg area and yes. to have a connection here in central Pennsylvania like that where your grandpa's uh, buried is. Yes. That's incredible. Well, he was born in Greensburg, and then he uh, moved to, to Houtsdale and wow. was wow. Uh, very involved with the Houtsdale Man. community. Very yes. cool. So wow. we also want to learn about some of the incredible veterans from our community. And Gail F. F. sent a photo of her father. He served over 39 years in the Army during World War II and was stationed at Pearl Harbor during mm. the attack. She says he traveled across the world before returning home to Altoona. That's something, Gail. Thank you for that. Yes, thank you. Let's check in with Annie. She shared a photo of her husband, Sergeant First Class Joseph Eckley. He retired after 25 years of service with the Army. And then Shannon S. says that all veterans are heroes, and we obviously agree with that one there. But one near and dear to her heart is her dad. He enlisted at 17, was an MP during the Vietnam War, and was in the Army Reserves. Naturally, she says that hearing his stories is a favorite pastime. And last but not least, Chrissy sent in this photo. It's him, and it was taken the last wow. week. He was active duty in the Navy. So thank you to all yeah, of our veterans today. Thank you so today. much. We'll continue to honor them throughout the day on this Veterans Day.